What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, looky here, I've got the Prion Pike here with Mr. Prion Talk himself, uh, Cole. And he's going to help me do a walkthrough on this. You know, he is the Prion expert, you know. Yeah. He's yeah. got the official hat and everything. Yeah. So. I don't know who else has that hat, Wade. <laughs> it's not the hat. It's what's under the hat that I'm interested <laughs> in in today's video. But, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a walkthrough from stern to bow and kind of break down this boat. This color is the tennis ball green. I don't think it actually has a color. Yeah, Mike Wazowski, tennis ball, you know, I'm open to suggestions, highlighter, you know. But what color did you originally order? I ordered a red one, and this is what showed up. That's so. a little bit off red. Yeah, just slightly. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and start to walk through. And right away, I'm going to go ahead and start with the specs real quick. I'll let uh, Mr. Prion himself give me the, the yeah. full specs. Oh, yeah. It's 8 foot 9. Uh, that's the length. Of the I'm pulling the specs up on the screen right now. Paddler, right. paddler range is 132 to 198. Uh, the width is 24 inches and it weighs 40 pounds so yeah that's the specs on this thing and where are they available in the u.s yeah so i got mine from past peaks and paddles they import prion kayaks and lake kayaks too if you want one of those and they put this awesome silver decal on the stern um but i ground that down and put my name and number on it um it, yeah it's kind of unfortunate that they do that but i mean i think there's about 35 holes in this boat already so what's a couple more yeah Got it for about like uh, 1400 bucks uh, in the spring of 2001. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. And, um, I wouldn't say 2001. Uh, 21. 2021. Yep. Yeah, and what he was talking about holes, for you guys that don't know, Prion is a blow-molded plastic. This is not roto-molded, so it's it's injected into a mold, and it's just kind of swollen up. It's almost like an instant molding process. They can't do molded in inserts, and they can't do molded in graphics, what you call a MIG. This is a actual, like, sticker. I could peel hey, all, hey, all hey, of these hey, up. Hey. <laughs> See, it makes him nervous because already they're starting to come up a little bit here. So these are actual stickers just like sticker decals that Prion puts on while it's hot and they hold up I've seen some of them hold up for a while you know it's it's something kind of common this and I literally was an inch higher a few days ago and I just moved it down and rubbed it in super hard and hit it with a heat gun there you go he heated it back into the plastic so yeah I think that's enough about the boat let's go ahead and start the walk through starting back here at the stern you can see it's not super wide compared to a lot of half slices out here say like the steez the the goat even the ripper that I compared the ripper was like an inch wider back here and went all the way wider all the way up you know so it's a kind of a flat stern but it's not very flat it's not as flat as what I'd like it to be anyway very solid feeling though I mean it's very yeah yeah, well, this whole thing, I feel like I can pry a car up with it. You know, uh, drain plug. Prions had this same drain plug since, I don't know, 1874. This is a drain plug. There's no threads in it. It's just almost like a little T wedge. It should have a gasket on it, I would think. But it looks like it's just pressure fit with plastic. It is riveted in there with, looks like some sort of sealant under there. I guess it works. I'd like to see it more recessed. You could easily oh, break no, that off. I'm not He's, yeah. he's knocked off prion, so he's paddled more than one prion, and he's knocked them off. Grab handles, they use a, looks like a type of tubular webbing. You know, tubular webbing, if done right, can hold thousands of pounds. It uses these little triangle brackets with a Torx head screw with a nut and washer combo on the bottom because obviously you can't do molded in inserts. This is supposed to be a wall holder, but that's debatable. And I'll tell you why. Because they have a damn five-inch wall in this thing. Look at the size of this foam. Just for you guys to know, there's a pro version and a sport version. He has the pro version. The sport version does not have foam walls in it. It's got a different type of seat. It doesn't have this pan seat. It's like just a pan seat instead of this track system. So this is the sport. That is a sticker. And can he pronounce that? Yeah, it's high club mode last. Yeah, it's, it's pronounced uh, blow molded plastic. <laughs> there you go. I don't know anybody, you know, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, another plate right there for the serial number. They don't engrave it. They actually just plate it on there. So very interesting. They print out each plate. <laughs> that I can imagine at the factory they have each one of these plates already printed. They just stick them on a boat. And if you look, there is a lot of holes in this boat. He might have, Cole might have talked about that earlier. They actually drill holes because they can't mold in undercuts on these rims. So this rim just stops right there. It doesn't cut under. And they welded in, or they riveted in, it looks like, 
I would think that might be, I don't know, that's like extruded plastic. It looks like a strip that they just kind of like heat and fold around it and they rivet it in. There's rivets all the way around this thing yeah, holding it in. One thing I will say about the rivets is it, it definitely impacts how your skirt uh, marries the boat um, right there. You'll get those rivets and that's on all free on boats across the board. You can see under there a little bit you can see under there a little bit of the rivet breaking down the outfitting well we'll go over the rest of the shape i'll come back to the outfitting you see talked about the deck of the the stern you know a nice little channel here for holding water you know there's no drainage there so it just holds water the cockpit rim is recessed behind this area which was unusual for me it's actually recessed down in there hard and it's kind of difficult to get a ran skirt in there but he runs a bungee because he doesn't care about skirt implodes uh, security bar up here for attaching to your car and mounting down. Once again, uh, this is not, I would say this is here for structure. That's not there to hold that foam wall because look at the size of that foam yeah, wall. It's moved on me before. I like the little lightning bolt sticker up here or to peel it off, you know. <laughs> Once again, the handle's up here. I'd like to see this handle this way instead of this way. Would you not agree? Yeah, I mean, for team carry, you know, put loading boats on trucks, it doesn't make too much of a difference, but when you're by yourself trying to wrestle this thing around, it's kind of awkward. Yes. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to grab that. That is like a plate. That has no roundness to it at all, but great place to lock it down. Okay, breaking down the outfitting, check the, this thing out. This is not bungee. This is some, so, some sort of rubberized material, it seems like. And it got, obviously, more rivets. You know, I guess it's dagger with buckles, because Cole was going on about buckles. And I was like, why don't you check your rivets, bro? <laughs> Look at all the rivets in this damn thing. And these are the little rivet hooks right here that hook on and it gives this kind of rubberized feel to it kind of cool that's something different accessory loops right here in the seat once again big foam wall this would no you don't need it so much in this boat for structure i think you need it it'd be more for flotation so if you packed a lot down in there but it does add more structure to it back band was decent i'd like to see some up and down adjustment like something to hold it down to the seat so it doesn't move around this was cool they put a little tool down inside there and that's a feature that's been around even on my older boats. I think it's on the wizard over there. Mm -hmm. And looking at the back band, you know, what, what it, it's, it's not bad. It's like, it's not great, but it's not bad. I would say it, it does its job. Hip pads are something kind of interesting. The hip pads are riveted in behind, they're riveted in with this thing where the back band kind of goes through the hip pad and runs up and it through a, like a rivet. I don't think there's a plate in there. Do you? No, I haven't fucking it's just a hip pad that goes around that and then it's adjusted right here on this side you can see right here where you pull your hip pad tight don't need much shims because when i pulled the hip when i pulled the back band down it kind of cinched that up a little tighter on me so it held me in there seat pad could have been better it works it could have been better but this material is very grippy would you not agree yeah I, I feel pretty locked in when i'm in this boat as far as my butt bulkhead's another story but and right here, you know, you got, I think these are Merson Research Ratchets. This is nothing new with like the old adjustment back here. They've just got it sewn, so you can't really adjust this at all, which was kind of crazy. It's kind of sewn, so, but you know, it goes up pretty far. Speaking of adjustment, oh boy, adjusting this seat. How fun was it? I actually adjusted this seat on the side of the river, by, by the way. So it's a, what it is, it's a bracket in there. If you can see down in there, there's this metal bracket and it's got this little piece of foam with an insert that you have to move along this little piece of foam. So you remove this bolt, move that little piece of foam and then lower it down and screw it in and tighten it up. It works when you get it, but it's a beast to adjust. Yeah, you're definitely gonna want some long and skinny to stick in that track and it makes it easier. I used a little pencil to line it up. I had to go to my car and get a pen and, and push it up just to fix that. I ran this seat all the way back. Once you adjust it, you never have to adjust it again. It just stays where that. Thigh braces were kind of cool for me. This was something unique also. This back bolt holds in this bracket right here. Yeah, it adjusts like, that's how you get the aggressiveness. I love that aggressiveness on that thigh brace, but what if we want to move it forward and back? So you take, you just unscrew it a little bit and you got a washer that lives in here. And then See you that? just kind of collapse this foam and you can even stick your hand in there and you just move it up to the next one. What happens if we drop that in the water? Uh, you're gonna wanna go to your local Ace Hardware. <laughs> you want me to show you what? What almost cut my dry suit? Look in there. Rub your finger across those. Oh, no. Yeah. 
I came back. I was like, well, you owe me $1,200. Oh, that's a rivet. There's a rivet that actually poked out in there. And that, is it sharp? Very. <laughs> but I ain't paying for your dry suit, though. I'm no, no, Prion is. <laughs> oh, not you. Okay. No, we're going to sit. Uh, if Prion's watching this, go ahead and hit me up. Send me a hat and tell me to shut up. <laughs> but you see how um, see how it works? It's pretty easy. I, was, I mean, it's already back in. You know what? That is one of the easiest adjusted thigh braces I've ever seen. Dumb. Like, and look how aggressive they, they work extremely well. I put them in the, he had them in like the, the scared position where they're all the way up. I liked them I all, them all almost all the way down. What I liked them about? all the way down because it really locked me in the boat. Oh, yeah. It flex a little bit, but you feel locked in. You're locked in and you got that padding all the way up there, which I don't know if that was a big waste of padding, but you know what? It works. I would just tell Prion, watch him rivets, buddy. Uh, tell the rivet guy, the, tell the thigh brace guy to kind of make sure he trims the backside. Oh, and my favorite part. Oh yeah, don't forget about this. Instead of, look at this, it kind of goes around and it hooks right here. Is that not cool? You can put, like, you can actually, that actually stretches a lot, don't it? Yeah, I've got and what, a throw rope and water bottle. And in here, this holds in the bow wall. You got another of this rubberized bungee to hold in the bow wall. Bulkhead was a little, it's all aluminum. It's a big aluminum bulkhead. I was not the biggest fan of their bulkhead. I would almost like to foam out all inside there and make that bulkhead. And it was kind of narrow. My feet kind of like fit weird how's your feet fit in there yeah they're not comfortable not as comfortable as a rewind or any modern half slice really i think that i think with having it kind of narrow right here takes away some foot room and i wish they would have recessed these bolts they even recessed the bolts on the wizard this boat look even that one's recessed i can't believe they didn't maybe that was something they were in a hurry and they went ahead and got the mold and then kind of like left it out or didn't know the location or something but yeah that's all we got and they did throw this um they did have this what did you say this was the scales those are the fish scales of the prion yeah the prion fish scales is what cole calls them let's go ahead and roll it over and look at the bottom now we got it rolled over here i'm going to show you guys the hole if you notice the stern it the rails don't come all the way out they smooth out right there they run but one thing about this boat it see this taper it makes this hull extremely narrow would you not agree with that yeah narrow and fast definitely that's where the speed comes from i think right in this back area it is like very like squirrely back in this area you got to be on it you better be on your game if you're paddling this boat but i like it i i, I like a boat that kind of challenges my paddling a little bit you have to really get on it and start figuring this boat out it took me a little bit to figure it out but once i dialed it in i kind of started liking it um really smooth back here but it's a little rounded off and it's a little thick which made it really hard to initiate a stern stall i could do it in in big like current but I could not do it in flat water I could pivot turn off this back edge but not as fast as I can like a like a full-on half slice edge runs right here runs all the way up runs down and it kind of is like a drop chine right here where it's like just a chine right there and you can see how it kind of drops down right there runs all the way then smooths out to a really smooth bow right here and you notice they have something here i love me some wave deflectors and i think these worked a little bit as far as like initiating into an eddy what was your opinion on these uh wave deflectors yeah i was uh i, I like the wave deflectors i was kind of surprised to see that they made you know like them this small um but i think there's just limitations in the in the process of making these boats so but they they do work they, they work for wave separation i i would have rather seen like deep deep like how those i'd like to see those come out at least a pinky width would be nice to have these out like on the scorch oh they work beautiful on the scorch looking at it looking at this the bulkhead screws right there should have been recessed and you can kind of see the texturing in these blow molded they all kind of look the same they have these weird funky lines through them it's just part of the process um but this this plastic i tell you what one, one thing that i found with this plastic i did some booths on the river and comb up back me up on this when when I would boof, this plastic is so stiff, it actually had like a, a basketball effect to it. I would hit a rock and I would bounce and I'd get a bounce off a rock where yeah. say I'm in a dagger, Jackson, Piranha or something, they come out and it's kind of soft plastic. It would squish in and it wouldn't boof, but I could still do it, but not as good as this plastic. This plastic, boing, yeah. like that. One of my favorite boats to boof because I mean, it's fast, it's skinny, it like gets on its edge really easily and the biggest downside I found to landing is landing booths because it's so narrow that you kind of like do the, the weeble wobble as you land. Um, that's probably a lot of rider error. 
it, a few times yesterday I'd come off and I hit some squirrely water and this thing just woo, just kind of did that and it took me a minute to get it back on track so he's kind of right on that it's not a high rockered boat it just kind of like goes like that about from right there but yeah kind of flat out not much stern rocker Wade, Wade says uh, we should take that stern pillar out and squash her tonight. <laughs> turn so, it into a party pike. What I want to do, I want to turn it into a party pike. You guys leave in the comments below if you'd rather see this a party pike. Take out that stern pillar and just, I'd love to see that stern about that wide. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, if it was smushed down, just like this would be, this boat would be unstoppable. But I didn't get the boat for the design. I got it for the plastic and... It's good stuff. I can tell you guys, if you got one really of these really boats, it would probably last you generations. Oh, it's, it's come off the car twice already. <laughs> it's it's uh, survived a raft trip. This is from like a carabiner rubbing on it for three days. So He's going to pass solid, it down to his though. grandkids. That's how long these prions will last. All right, everybody, that's it. That's all I got for the prion walkthrough. I will have a full on-water review of me piling this and giving you my thoughts of on-water and how that goes. And big thanks to Mr. Prion yeah, Talk. Buddy. If you guys haven't, go check his channel out he's got a lot of like pre on stuff maybe we can get him to do some more Thank because you. next you know what we're doing we're doing the wizard we're bringing in the wizard baby let's do it let's get out of here Gandalf.